Hi, this is Dominique Finney and I'm in Sydney with the National Herbalist Association of Australia with the seminar series and I've just discovered two really innovative and amazing businesswomen from the Southern Highlands who have Wildcraft Dispensary and that's Linda and Diane. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Can you tell me about what is Wildcraft Dispensary? We're a certified organic herbal tea company which we make um, blends for practitioners and the retail sector. We've been going for about five years and everything's going really well. We're at the seminar to show off our product. Okay, but you're also a member, Diane, of the National Herbalist Association of Australia. Can you tell mm. me how long that's been and about that? Uh, I've been a member for 22 years mm -hmm. and um, I've been practicing herbal medicine for 22 years. So now we're just... Um, sort of extending our passion for herbs. Great, and Linda, you're a kinesiologist. Do you mm -hmm. use that in your work with, her, with the herbal teas? Um, yes, with the clients. I, I, um, when I'm working with the clients and, and I feel they need a certain, certain herbs or a blend of herbs, then I will um, use my muscle checking and, and um, see which, which tea is appropriate at the time. Excellent. Now, do you guys have a sort of favourite blend at the moment? I'm sure there's many, but can you just tell me about something? Mm, well, we're show, we've got a few things um, at the conference to, for people to taste mm -hmm. in uh, our different practitioner range. And, um, but otherwise, we just love all our herbs. Mm. We, we make herbs. everything by hand in our own warehouse, and so we get in there and everything we start working with we just rave on about how much we love the smell of it the look of it the color of it okay everything. okay that's not enough detail is it can you just tell me about one blend just a lovely blend you uh, make well we've got buku um and dandelion and celery and juniper berries and we've made that all into a blend called fluidity mm. which everybody is tasting today mm. and um, it's a very unusual taste there's been some good feedback with that today mm. Mm. so that's an anti-inflammatory and it works it's, on um, fluid getting rid of fluid in the body yeah it's for balancing the bladder and kidney organs yeah so Fantastic. and depending on the frequency of dose and the strength of the dose then it can be used as a standalone medicine or just as a constitutional medicine taken mm. once a day. And so as far as herb teas go at home um, what do you recommend to people? Anything that's suitable from our range. I think if you're going to have herb tea you do need to have something organic. It's got nutritional value, medicinal value. You may as well take the best thing that's available. Mm. Uh, there's lots of different um, blends. Just depends on what you're drinking it for. If you want a nice little peaceful night's sleep, you might just take chamomile or a blend of things with chamomile. If you want um, something to stimulate your liver, you'll choose maybe dandelion as a standard thing that you have every night before you go to bed. There's uh, different value with the different herbs. Mm. You choose what's suitable for the person. So with the herbal teas you can adjust it to the day so if you're really tired on one day you might take a um, herbs that will give you more energy and then on yep, other that's days. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> what herbs do you recommend for energy? Well we're using um, herbs that stimulate, um, balance and stimulate the nervous system. So we've got things like um, Siberian ginseng or we're using things that have got a nutritional value like licorice that help balance the adrenals and they've got a lot of iron and other minerals. Again the reasons behind what herbs you choose are individual reasons. And that's yeah. very much with herbal medicine isn't it? Like yes. it is the people's medicine. It's the people's medicine. And it's tailored to suit the person. Yeah mm. and it's an inexpensive way of getting medicine as well. Like you don't need a lot of money to buy herbal tea. Mm. You have a, you buy herbal tea and it will last quite a while in the house. That's right. Exactly. Well, how would you make a herbal tea? How do you recommend a recipe for making just a cup of herbal tea? So will we... Um uh, you choose the, the blend that you like and uh, there's a number of ways of making the tea. You can use a, uh, an infuser pot or you can use uh, a little um, fine weave paper filter 
um, little bag, like a tea bag, um, but you can put your own tea in there, or spring jaw infusers. So, mm. um, and, and it's best if the water has just come off the boil so you don't burn your herbs. And, um, and then you just place the, um, the infuser into the cup, or if you're using a, uh, an actual um, pot, then um, just after the water's come off the boil, you, you pop the water in and, and leave it for um, at least five minutes, but depending on which blend for, for our teas that you're using. So if you're using um, tea, a tea that is more for um, a therapeutic and medicinal um, um, work, then you, you may leave it for at least 15 minutes to really draw out the, the goodness. Or if it's bark or roots or seeds then it has to be left for a longer amount mm. of time than just something light like leaves and flowers they don't need as much steeping. Mm. Do you ever sort of use the Chinese decoction method with any of your herbs where you recommend people boil them or do you just prefer to what we call infuse them? Mm. Mm. All, all our teas are cut specially for infusion. Mm -hmm. um, if you're Sometimes if you're using roots that aren't cut properly, you do need to steep them over the stove, like boil them over the stove to get mm -hmm. the um, volatile oils out. But all our, all our heavier material is cut a special way. Hmm. That's fantastic. Thank you. And how do people get hold of you? Well, you can go to our website, which is uh, www.wildcraft.com.au. Um, uh, we're based in the Southern Highlands. Um, and how do people see you in the Southern Highlands? Uh, we're running our own clinic there and uh, so you can visit the clinic in one of the uh, local villages. Mm. Um, or That's Hartwood Cottage and 48 yes. Barrel Road. Thank you very much guys. Okay. It has been an absolute pleasure to talk to you. I can tell Thank you, you. <coughs> their infusions are absolutely delicious. This is Wildcraft Dispensary at the National Herbalist Association of Australia Sydney Seminar Series. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.